after my MA, I decided that I was going to have a bit of time off and I worked in a microbrewery for a few months while my partner finished at their masters. And then I was approached by the director of research at Leeds Beckett University, who offered me a part-time position in the School of Art, Architecture and Design. Um, they'd become familiar with my work uh, during my masters and had attended some of my final performances, um, which gave them an insight into my work and research interests. Um, the position as a research associate at the Leeds at Leeds Beckett University involved supporting academics with their publications and research activities and this was originally offered for um, a month-long contract and then it was extended um, each month on top that I worked for the duration of half a year. So this involved working very closely with the Director of Research, Professor Simon Morris, and under his guidance carrying out um, research-focused activities including the production and design of publications, um, attending symposia, events and exhibitions, um, copy editing and collaborating with web designers, curators and artists internationally. And after my contract ended, um, I was then told by, by the director that a full-time and fully funded PhD was available to apply to in the School of Art. So after considering potential proposals and strategies um, for work that I really wanted to produce and have been spent my BA and MA preparing for, I wrote an application which was accepted by the Dean of the School of Art, Professor Lisa Stansby. Um, so part of this contract and PhD um, studentship, I continued to commute from Sheffield to Leeds to work with the director at the university three days a week between Monday and Wednesday um, and then between Thursday and Sunday I focused on my own research at home um, at, or at a rented studio which I had in Sheffield City Centre. Um, so I had a studio at Block uh, which is on Air Street in Sheffield for one year and then um, I moved to Gloam Studios for two. Um, in my third year at Leeds Beckett I was also offered a part-time lecturing position which basically involved teaching first years in fine art. I was then able to do this for two years before the pandemic happened. Um, so once COVID-19 spread, um, funding shortages caused many positions to fold across the university, including unfortunately my job. Um, so it was, it, it was the case with my position. Um, when employed as a lecturer, uh, my work included supporting and educating students um, through their formative year at the university. Um, so basically um, preparing and delivering course content, including uh, practical workshops, talks, tutorials, seminars, um, allowing them to develop their interests in performance, sculpture, painting, writing, video and sound work, photography, installation art, participatory, participatory pieces, um, among, among, among other things. Um, this included teaching them about the theory and history of art practice and assessing their practical modules. So um, in life I have definitely been both a student and a lecturer and seen it from both sides, so to speak. Um, so now I'm in a position where I'm continuing with freelance work and I am funded by Arts Council England to work at Gloam Gallery and Studios, which I am a co-director of. Um, this is a one day a week position and involves communicating with artists, curators and studio holders. The space was set up as a cooperative and shows contemporary art from people working across research disciplines the main challenges of this and just working within freelance in the art sector include um, funding shortages and financial insecurity. Um, the work can also involve working unusual hour hours and often on weekends. Um, and you also have to be resourceful in sometimes earning money, often working outside of your given sector. Um, the positives, however, of working in the art sector in my experience involve working um, with skillful and supportive communities and being surrounded by people that are progressive, 
open-minded and honestly really enjoy their work um, which is a huge win um, for, for everybody in my opinion um, so if you would like to pursue working in the art sector I would recommend that students recognize the many possibilities that a career in this field um, has and can carry um, for a job in academia for example um, students would need to pursue a BA and then an MA and then a PhD uh, to become a doctor like myself or to specialize in their chosen field whereas if students wanted to become a freelance freelance trader uh, for example who focused uh, specifically on craft making um, with a specific material such as glass, metal, wood, clay and stone. I would recommend that students learn how to make objects through apprenticeships that focus very specifically on skills such as carpentry, glass blowing, weaving, pottery, ceramics, um, sculpting. Um, and in finding out which one you enjoy the most or which ones you enjoy the most, I would really recommend attending as many different art events as possible, um, enrolling in specialised courses or colleges which focus specifically on developing these skills. Um, I kind of, you know, working practically really is the, the heart of working in the art sector. Um, so please do pursue those options if, if you're really considering this. Um, I think that also when you attend different art events, you can see the differences between live performances, recorded performances, music concerts, plays, choreographies, compositions, and consider all of the jobs that go into making um, these pieces really what they are. So maybe look at the practical roles involved in performance. So for example, you have actors, dancers, singers, musicians, um, but then also people working behind the set or screen. So scenographers, makeup artists, costume designers, lighting and sound technicians, um, to those who work in production management and marketing, which are also really, really important um, skills and facets of the sector. Um, you may also consider where these people learn how to do their jobs. So maybe they went to a conservatoire school and did some training. Um, maybe they decided to work in the industry and slowly go up the ladder. Um, or you could also consider how these people then were taught. So for example, would you prefer to um, become an academic and learn how to educate others? Uh, would you like to become a movement or singing teacher, for example? So there are really many, many different possible ways of finding this chosen path. Um, and I hope that this talk has offered you, even if it's just a little insight um, into how someone might start working in the art sector and, and how I landed the position that I'm currently in. So thank you so much for spending the time listening to me and um, good luck, you're going to do great. Bye.